it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate to embrace that great and feeling love hello guys this is shundel and today's share is embracing that great and feeling love guys this is just a share of course from my own life experiences and from my own reading i am not perfect i'm still working with myself every day reading learning in order for me to live my best life and i am sharing this with you guys because each and every one of us we all have struggles to face we all have trials and difficulties to face every day and it's not easy to survive this life journey guys i must learn to comfort myself I must learn to treat myself. I must learn to live one day at a time. Living one day at a time for me, guys, it is also the same. Reading one verse in the scripture every day. A step to step basis. In order for me to feel good, in order for me to feel great, content, and satisfied at the end of the day yes these are the tools i am using in order for me to keep on going believing that i am not alone believing that god is in control believing that no matter what is going on in my life i believe that all things are going to work together for my good of course, it's not always easy. It's hard. But the moment you have to work with your mindset and work with your feelings that this is it. This is my life. I have to work with it. I have to believe that someone is there for me. Embracing that unfailing God. love, guys, it's also about knowing who created you what is your purpose? Why you are here on this earth? Why you are still living? And why you long for love? We all longing for love, guys. We want to love and to be loved. But guys, always remember who created you, who helped you, who was there for you. As what I told you before, guys, we are not born alone god is with us he has an angel to each and every one of us so so do not feel alone with all your difficulties in life do not feel alone yet you are struggling do not feel alone that seems it, you cannot make it guys really guys it really takes courage to believe to the unseen you have to do the prayer, the meditation, and above all, believing in Him above. Believing that God is in control, that God is working with our feelings. By that, it helps you when you can communicate with Him daily. Yes, communication is very important to our human relationship. And at the same time, it is important to that certain Father in heaven above. We all must have a good communication in order for us to feel good, in order for us to feel great and feeling content of ourselves. To embrace that unfailing love, guys, of course, first of all, you must know yourself. You must love yourself. Embracing who you are. Feeling the contentment of who you really are. And thinking that God created you because He loves you. God created you because He has a purpose for you. You. We all must know our purpose. 
living this life with full of trials, difficulties, and hardships, guys. I must learn to face and embrace that unfeeling love, even I don't see him, even he is not here. Just believing what is written in the scripture, just believing that he is there for us. That is a huge thing you can do to yourself. That means you trust him. That means you acknowledge him that he is the creator of the universe. He is the creator of ourselves, And he made us amazingly great, amazingly talented, amazingly beautiful. Each and every one of us have talents that we have to develop in us because he created us with fullness that you have to think he you don't lack anything he created you with fullness with talents with good heart with good mind with that infinite intelligence guys it is very important that we can acknowledge those things why i am sharing this with you because I also experienced the depression, the anxiety, the hardships. Instead of using my energy to that certain depression, of course we have to acknowledge that. I am depressed, I feel yeah, down at this very moment. You have to embrace, to acknowledge that in order also for you to understand what will be going on in your life. You can appreciate those good things in your life when you can learn to face the facts okay you are depressing right now you're not feeling good you feel down and you have to embrace that and acknowledge that then you have to start working with your mindset god created me he made me amazingly great i am talented there comes the affirmation the affirmation about all the good things of yourself really help you guys to keep on moving, to do the things you want to do, even you are struggling. I know it is easier said than done. Believe me, it is a hard work for me doing this mindset work. I did a lot of crying. I am depressed. But I have to think and comfort myself that somebody loved me. And who is that? It says in the scripture, God is love. His love for us is unconditional. His love is forever. He has an unfeeling love to each and every one of us. So my share here for you guys to embrace that unfeeling love we have to acknowledge and go back always to who created you your mother and father is there of course but bottom line the whole universe the whole thing in this earth we have to acknowledge who own our life we breathe this fresh air from the nature who created the nature why we have this amazing nature think wisely all those things that surrounds you God created the nature for us to use the fresh air, to have this nice sunlight, to have this nice surroundings for us to breathe properly, to have that clean oxygen we are breathing every day. Go back always to the source. When you can go back to the source and acknowledging all those good things you have been experiencing in many years, then you have to think that is love. Therefore, it is written in the scripture, God is love. He is love because He is the one creating all these things, including us in this life. Then, okay, you are depressed because you are discontent, because you are hurting, because it seems so very difficult. Always understand, guys, that the pickle in our life journey is a part of the process so we can grow, so we can learn.
we are not really growing or learning anything when we are not experiencing difficulty. So embracing to that unfeeling love, we have to acknowledge all those challenges we were experiencing in our life. Embrace it, acknowledge it, and be grateful for it. Learning to say thank you to the hardships is the key here in order for us to acknowledge and embrace that unfailing love. When you can be very grateful to that hardships, to that difficulties you have been through, then your heart and mind will be open to embrace that unfailing love. And I have to remind you guys, only God, the creator of the universe, can give us that unfailing us. Because it says in the scripture, He will not forsake us. He will not hurt us. He is there to comfort us. He is there to support us. Yes, we can feel in love to a certain person. We all longing for that physical love. But bottom line here, guys, a person can hurt you a person can disappoint you but then feeling love from our father above nothing can compare about it so that is my comfort to myself and i am sharing this with you in hope you can acknowledge and understand that every day we have to acknowledge that and feeling love from him above we must be grateful and embrace everything about it this is Yundel. thank you for listening thank you for dropping here in my channel i am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey we are on this together i love you all and bye, -bye. Like we feel the same we 